I've finished the retouching of the spray bottle and I wanted to give a general overview of the steps I used to get to the final result. Here's the image as it stands right now. And here's the original image. No matter what the image is, I go through the same basic process. I start by making masks. I then do a general clean layer. I'll finish up any cleaning with frequency separation. I'll then do a reflection if I need to. Next, I'll do toning and finish up by doing any color corrections that need to be done on the image. Let me take you through each of those steps in turn. Along with the original image, I also bring a second image that I use to make a text mask. In the color channels, I'll pick out one of the channels that I can best use and then just make a crisp, clear text mask. After that, I pen tool out any of the sections I think I want to work with individually. In this case, I made a silhouette, cut out the stripes, cut out the cap, and cut out the bottom of the bottle. After that, I go ahead and make a quick silhouette and put in a white background. On my general clean layer, I concentrate on the really big areas. This particular label on the bottom edge needed a lot of cleaning up, so I did that, as well as the transition between the purple and yellow, or the purple and gold lines. I had to clean up those in all of those areas. Up next, I used frequency separation to fix the transition between the light and dark areas, particularly on the front of the bottle where the diffusion panels met in the photo shoot. You can really see this in the gold reflective cap. After that, I copy everything, flip it, and make a reflection. Next, I start to tone everything. I make the blacks a little closer to being black, and then I brighten up all the mid-tones in the image. I use the text mask to make a nice, cream, crisp, crisp text and brighten them up really well. I then use the image itself to make a mask that excludes all the highlights and all the shadows. With this, I make a mid-tone contrast layer. Generally, it adds a lot of saturation and color back into the image. After that, I try to subtract any cyan that may have appeared because of the use of the polarizing gel that I use. Lastly, I try to do a little bit of color correction. The cap and the gold in the label were really off between each other. So I try to bring some of the saturation down in the cap and some of the saturation up in the stripes in the label. As I said, this is just meant to be an overview of the process I used to do the retouching on an on-white image. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Mail lady, did I get my thing finally?